Hi, I'm Cheryl, and this is the card we'll be working on today. And I am I did some more doodle flowers. Gotta love these little lollipop looking things. So, let me show you what we, what we need today. We need a piece of Whisper White card stock, and that's three and a half by four four and three quarters. Now I had, um, I used the the new um, Bermuda Bay colored glimmer paper from the assortment pack that you can get for free during the celebration, but I wanted to show that it looks equally nice with just plain Bermuda Bay cardstock. And this is five and a quarter by four. And I have basic black cardstock and this is eight and a half by um, by five and a half and it's scored and folded at four and a quarter. I've got my my good old Sharpie ultra fine point marker. I have a let's see Bermuda Bay marker and a pool party marker. Snail will be needed. We need our um, Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And then I use stamps from this Endless endless Birthday Wishes stamp set. I'm using um, Have A. And then, let me get the, get the, oh, the glare. Have a great, and there's a birthday somewhere here. Birthday. So we'll be using those three stamps. So let's get going on our cards. There's really only one doodle component here, and if you can't do this, well, I don't know what the heck is wrong with you, because this is so easy. Let me just bring a piece of card stock, or scrap paper in here and my bigger point marker, and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so I have, actually, I have like four different sized of the, the flowers, so we'll do a big one. There we go. There's a big one. Here's a middle sized one. There's a little bit smaller one. <laughs> you see where I'm going on this? There's and there's a a very small one. Okay. And there you go. That's it. Oh, and we also have a line. So they have stems. You draw a line. There we go. That's it. That's our flowers. <laughs> okay. So let's get our Whisper White cardstock in here. And we'll get our Ultra Fine Sharpie pen and do these. Now, I wanted my big my big flower to be up high. Then I have the medium one a little lower. And then I have on the other side of the stem of the large one, I have a, a little smaller and then a little smaller. So we'll start with the big one. And like I said, we want it up towards the top. Um, mm, probably uh, three quarters of an inch in. So here we go. There's our big one. Now we'll do the next smaller one, and we want that right here, just to the right of it. Okay, then we want a little smaller one over here, just to the left. And then we have one more little one that's kind of down here and off to the right a little bit. So we'll do our little one here. Okay, stems, just put your Sharpie down on there and draw stems. There, that's it. Let me wipe up where I drew off the, went off the paper. Um, let's stamp our sentiment too. Now I did, um, I did line this up earlier. I line it up, I do a test stamp, and so hopefully 
this will look really nice on my card. So there we go. There. So let's color these in. And towards the outside, okay, you see on my card, I didn't go all the way to the edge, but just into where the scribbles start out from the center. And I just did a couple of rounds with the Bermuda Bay. So we just go around, around, around. Alright, so it'll look like that. It's starting to look better already, isn't it? And then I just took the um, pool party. Oh, by the way, I'm using the, um, the um, paint tip, not the fine point. There's a fine point on these pens, and there's also a paint tip. Use the paint tip. And I, I lay it on the side so it, it covers more. It just goes faster that way and just color the center in with the um, with the pool party and that's it for the the terribly hard um, doodle flowers <laughs> okay so we'll attach that with the snail we'll attach that to the um, the Bermuda Bay cardstock. Oh, by the way, on my glimmer paper, my glitter paper, I did cut the center out. I don't think. No, I, I have that. No, I have that taped down too, too well. I think. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute let me show you. See, I did cut the center out and save that that inside part for use later on. This. This is such a pretty, this paper is so pretty. I love the glitter paper. It still makes a mess though. I still end up with glitter all over the place. Alright. I'm going to take our Bermuda Bay. Snail that up. And center that on our card front, on our card base. Have about an eighth of an inch showing of that, of the card base around. And there we go. Have a great birthday. This will look better as it dries. It's kind of blotchy looking and all. It'll end up, it'll it'll look like this. It also lightens a little also. So if you liked my card, be sure to hit the like button down below. If you'd like to see more of my cards, then hit the subscribe button. That's down there, too. If you want to shop with me, you can do that either through my Facebook page or my website. And as always, all my materials that I use will be listed down below. So, y'all take care, stay safe, and happy stamping. <laughs>